Good morning. The topic today is about or entitled All to the Glory of God. I will read a passage from Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 says here, For you brethren have been called to liberty. Do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, thank you for the message we're going to study today. Bless the watchers of this blog to understand the message for us. Forgive us wherever it comes short of thee. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, all to the glory of God. Philip Brooks one time prayed, God grant me this day some new visions of thy truth and inspire me with the spirit of joy and gladness and make me a cup of strength for the suffering souls. May this be um, answered by each one of us today. When we could summarize the principles of the Christian and make um, uh, in following the conduct of a Christian, in other words, in First Corinthians ten thirty one, it says here, therefore, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. As we mature as Christians, um. In uh, our conduct, we are, we follow the realm of uh, dress, recreation, and entertainment. And thus, Christians to sincerely seek to know God's will for for us, for you, and for me. As uh, what will Jesus say, or what will Jesus do? Not my will but yours O lord be done so as we mature we experience and realize that um this will is always for our own good not from other goods but for our own very very nature as people and our will become the will of god if we follow him and in the stages of our experience we will do well to accept uh, god's will as children from our parents, even though um, sometimes we really don't know the underlying of reasons why we got to follow those. And the research revealed that the Adventists who follow the vegetarian diet, abstain from alcoholic, alcoholic beverage, yes, and uh, nicotine and other drugs have uh, um, more lifespan of seven years more than the regular member of uh, the generation of this generation or population certainly this demonstrates that god's uh, health principles are really for our our own good and uh, healthy lifestyle does not just include uh, diet and uh, we have many more things to follow Cultivate the natural habits such as getting a balanced amount of exercise. Uh, we have rest, safe exposure, exposure to sunlight. Eight, six to eight glasses of water a day. Breathing deeply of fresh air and temperance in all good, good things. And the last we have at a new start is nutrition, exercise, the W for water. S is for sunshine, which is very good to our body. T is for temperance in all things that we do, we eat, and uh, as well as even the good things uh, that are in excess is not really good to our body. And uh, A is for air. We are responsible for the air that is around us. Okay, so this air around us, around me, have uh, or, or, or is blessed with oxygen because of the many plants around here. So we must be responsible also in our homes and that uh, we can have oxygen, enough oxygen for our daily needs. And we have 
um, R is for rest. Okay, so here comes the Sabbath when God has given us one day to rest, to worship Him, and uh, our body will be refreshed not only physically, psychologically, but also physiologically. So this is the um, advantage of the Sabbath keepers. They have one day rest and they will have only to worship God. And here we have uh, a narrative for the last, for the new start we have is trust in God. It's the most important thing that we can have as Christians our trust and the ultimate creator and uh, uh, author of our faith, no other than Jesus. So our desire to exalt Jesus and self will lead us to choose for ourselves the highest standards of modesty in terms of dress to avoid adornment with the uh, gaudy cosmetics and jewelry worn for display. And uh, we have all this revealed that uh, we have to reveal Christ and not our pride or our own self. The violence and immorality portrayed in the media is clearly incompatible with the Christian uh, Christian lifestyle. So we will apply the same high standards of our choice in reading matters, the uh, materials that we read in the books or magazines, as well as in music. Well, the advantage of reading good magazines is to give, it really gives us more information, very informative, and that we can use them in our daily lives. And uh, also, uh, through reading good materials, we can grow uh, not only in terms of mental, but also in psychological as well as relational. So here we have, our motive will always be love for our God, okay, and share what we have for the Lord. So this is the essence of all to the glory of God. Thank you for watching, and may God bless us today.